Hi, today's question comes from Jared Williams, and he asks, I'd like to hear more about why you've been avoiding providing psychoeducation and what you've been doing instead. I must have made a comment in one of my videos around or my podcast around reducing the amount of psychoeducation I'm providing in my therapy. And it's absolutely spot on in terms of what I've been doing. And the reason why is when I think about the psychological, I suppose, factors that go out and look at change, there is nothing more important than the experiential uh, uh, mechanism. What do I mean by that? It's very, very different to go out and describe to someone what it feels like to eat chocolate versus giving someone the experiential uh, situation of being able to touch, smell, and obviously taste chocolate. Similarly, in therapy, it's very different to talk about, for example, what it might be like to be connected with friends again versus going out and maybe touching the space of what it's like to feel lonely. So rather than encouraging someone to go out and just connect with friends again, I think by going out and spending time in feeling lonely and going through past experiences of loneliness, describing them, feeling them, being upset by them, that can have a driving force uh, of encouraging someone to potentially start considering reaching out a little bit more. Similarly, if we were to then extend that further and kind of consider and think about what it might be like to go out and make contact with a friend um, uh, and, and what that experience would provide them, give them and maybe project forward three years, five years, you know, what that older self might say to the younger self having done that, having gone out and reconnected with, with friends, more of an experience um, is had for the client and therefore, in my view, the motivation will go up. So rather than teaching, I think it's important to try and potentially focus on bringing clients into that experiential world. No different to doing systematic desensitization, to go out and purely do, do that uh, on an education level is probably not going to work rather than maybe walking with your client and doing the thing that they're fearful of in a hierarchical sort of exposure way. One's gonna be far more superior to the other. Now I'm not suggesting that someone can't take psycho ed and go out and apply it in their real world, but I think there is an advantage of going out and doing things that are more experiential in session. Uh, so that would be my little tip or my, 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 my thoughts. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are below. How do you go out and bring the experience into, in, in, into the room or how you might go out and use psycho -ed.